What's the point of being here? We need to apologize to Jesse. We? Who are we? This is not my business. Just stop it. Okay? You've been nasty to Jesse. And if you want us to be on good terms, you'll apologize to her. I should apologize. She's the one who slapped you. Who slapped who? Hansi. Uncle. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Uh, please, I, I, I came to speak with Jesse. What for? I need to apologize for something. Oh, so you slapped her? No, no. I, I didn't. Actually, she's the one who hit me. She found out that that lady, Zoa, is staying at my place. By that lady, you mean your wife, yes? She's staying at my place to try to prevent this scandal from getting any bigger. Nangli, mm -hmm. <laughs> do you hear that? Mm. You are lucky that all she did was slap you. You deserve much worse. Nancy, please. I just came here to apologize to her. <sighs> Even if I were going to permit you to see her, she's not here. She hasn't been around and she hasn't been picking her calls. She's I probably don't. traumatized from all you've been doing. So the best thing you can do is go back to your house and leave Jesse alone. Well, you hurt my wife. Uh, you have done enough. So leave. And don't come back here. You're not welcome here anymore. Understand. You're whose boyfriend? Who? Mom, who is this boy? Maybe if you calm down, I'll be able to explain it to you. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. You haven't apologized for almost choking me to death. Would yes. you shut up and stay out of this? Who is this boy? You heard him. <sighs> yes, he's my boyfriend. We met on the internet months ago and my love. In what? See, I don't know what it is that you think that you have, but it is not real. How old is he? Old enough. Look, Inse is right. Call my mom by her first name again, and I will rip your tongue out. Now stop! Stop, for goodness sakes! Babe, th this is obviously not a good time. Maybe I should just... No, 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 no! No, go away! You can't possibly be going back to Abuja by this time. It's late! He is not staying here. And why not? It's late. He doesn't know this city. You don't expect me to let him roam the streets. This boy, this boy is not staying in this house. Hey. Please, where are you? I'm at home, why? I had a fight with Tivdo, so I'm at a hotel. I can't go home because I cannot handle my parents' questions right now. Can you come over just for a little while? Yeah, um, send the address. Just text the address. It's fine. Okay. Thank you. This is not over. You hear me? This is not over! I don't want to see this boy in this house by the time I get back. Relax, it's okay. He's okay. He's just upset. He'll be fine. Boss, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know of you when anything. What, what would you like to do? <laughs> you are now the host. I'm tired. 
Is this why you've been distracted from your duties? No, 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 no sir. It, it, it's not that, sir. All I ask you is to keep simple. If you cannot, I'll be forced to step in. No, 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 no sir. There's, there's no need for, for that, sir. My overseas counterparts are already waiting for their shipment. We have one of the drivers to deliver soon. Eddie, boss, call your friend uh, Oimai. We need to talk. Affirmative, boss. this happened to me? Since the accident, it's been one heartbreak from another. I don't know how Tibdo could do this to me. It's all right. Just drink your tea. No! I need to make sense of this. How could it happen? Look, I was there that weekend. But I can't remember anything about a wedding, you know? Can I ask you something? Why did you ask Tildo for a break that weekend last year? I don't want to talk about it. Tildo can't even lie and say it was a drunken mistake. He gave her his grandmother's ring. He promised me that ring when I was 20. Why would he give it to a stranger? Even if he was drunk. What kind of careless, unfeeling man would make such a mistake? Everybody has a secret side to them that they're not proud of. Really? What's yours? I have to go, it's getting weird. Um, now. Um, can you stay the night? I don't want to be alone. Please. Is that what you want? Okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning, boss. Good morning. How's work going? Very well, sir. I appreciate the job, sir. Ah, that's very good. Yes, sir. That's very good. Uh, because I will be expanding your routes now. Hmm? You'll be transporting goods cross-country. Eh? Don't worry. It will come with extra pay. <laughs> you like that, sir? Yes, right? sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I promise I will not disappoint you, sir. Uh, you may go. Eddie will fill you in later. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Boss. Eddie. Boss. You sure about this guy? Ah, uh, boss. I've known him for a very long time, boss. Uh, child dude we did together. He's a very loyal person, boss, if you trust her. I hope you're right. Especially now that loyalty has become a scarce commodity especially among my men.
Um, I'm really sorry about what happened yesterday. I mean, I didn't mean to hurt you or anything. It's just, anytime I see you like this, I feel really terrible. So, I think maybe it's best if I just leave. That's how long it will take for you to get your visa, right? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's fine. But remember, you can't come between Jesse and I. Okay. Jesse is the most important person in my life. So if we try any stunt, any stunt at all, he will be gone. Okay, no problem. I, I won't be a problem. I won't be a problem. Good. Um, is there anything I could help you with? Maybe your clothes or make your... I'm fine. I mean, the nurse isn't in yet. I just want to be useful. I said I'm fine. Come on. I insist. Please. You can do anything you want. I need to grab myself a cup of coffee. Till you hear the juicy scoop I have for you and your readers. <laughs> Jesse, where you been? Your mom and I have been worried sick. Oh, Jesse, there you are. Huh? I heard what happened. Huh? It's do. He showed that stupid boy that he cannot play around with people's hearts. Yes. Mm. Mm. He came with the sister last night to apologize. We, we kicked him out. And rightfully so. Do you want to talk about it, baby? Not right now, Mom. Okay. Please. Okay. Where were you? Hmm? Last night. I called Kose and she said that uh, you weren't with her. I spent the night with Naf. You what? Look, Mom, I honestly don't want to talk about any of this right now. Please. I just need some time to myself. Excuse me. Um, I'll, I'll go talk mm -hmm. to you. Speak with you. Mm -mm. 
Josh. Hello, son. Mm. How are you? Fine. You sure. Hmm? Okay. Um, I know you two already met, but I just wanted to lay out the capacity which you two will be working together. Talula here. We'll be helping with the Void's proposal. So I'll need you to give her access to all the documents she will need. Hmm? No problem. Good. I hope Tibdo hasn't given you any problem. No, sir. We're getting along fine. Hmm. In that case, uh, we'll leave the two of you to get to work. And remember, this has to be done on schedule. Yes, Dad. Take care. Hmm? I get up. <clears throat> so, what can I do for you? Do a cost analysis of the highlighted parts. And Tabitha, if you have any questions, ask me. I'm sure Tabitha, whoever that is, has any questions. She will let you know. Did you bring the proof? That is a copy of your birth certificate. I kept the original in storage for, for I was sent away. They didn't even change my name. If you like, I could get you the original if this is still not proof enough for you. I'm really sorry you had to find out this way. So, what now? I don't... I, I think I need a moment. What happened to you? Were, you? were you in an accident? I just want the world to know my truth. Ever since I came to be with my husband, you know, there were obstacles. Some people even went as far as trying to assault me. It's a miracle that I'm alive right now. Who did this to you? Jesse Jangfa, his fiance. <laughs> Meet little Jesse Jangfa did this to you. Yes. <laughs> That's not possible. I've known Jesse for years, and she wouldn't even hurt a fly. So what if she beats me or not? This story is going to bring a ton of traffic to your blog, girl. Jessie is my friend. I wouldn't do that to her. 
Besides, my blog does not exist just so that you can attack whoever it is you don't like. Okay. I'll accept that. Since you won't post the story, I'm just going to let Jessie know that her friend, Falashadi Kuku, secretly runs the blog that's making her life a living hell. Wait. Start from the very beginning so that I can get everything. How is business? Uh, that's actually what I want to talk about. There's an accountant here. He says you sent him. Uh, uh, yes. Yes, I did. Any problem? <laughs> no, not at all. It's just that I don't think we need an accountant yet on ground. I mean, we haven't launched yet. <laughs> go see. Go see. My money is now in the business. It's not that I don't trust you. I, I just need to keep an eye on things. Hmm? I don't... Shiva is going to help you out. Make sure you give him full access to the accounts and records. Um, feel free, yeah? Feel free to approach him if you have any questions or challenges. Uh, all right? Oh, oh, all right, sir. Good. <clears throat> I'm giving both of you one more chance to tell me the truth. What is this about? How did you get there? Just stop! All I want to know is the truth. I already know I wasn't adopted from an orphanage. I know about Caroline or Dabota or whatever you want to call her. I know everything. I know you've lied to me all my life. All I want to know is why. Next on Unbroken. You again? Do I need to get a restraining order because I this is... I assaulted you, Abby. Uh, Jesse, please. Let's, let's talk about this like civilized people. Time for civility has passed. Jesse, you passed it when you to lie to the public. Ah! 